Welcome back. Let's get right back to that breaking news. A deadly plane crash tonight in Baldwin County. Yes, details are still limited, but we do know the Coast Guard found the plane off of Middleton Fork Lane and two people are dead. For the latest, we're going to go now to News 5's Brianna Hollis. Yeah, guys, we have three of us working to get that information right now. WKRG News 5's W. William just confirming that with the Loxley Fire Department that we do have at least two fatalities here in that plane crash. It also took about two hours for crews to ultimately find that wreckage. Now, where we're looking right now, you can see we obviously have the flashing lights. We have some first responders over here, but we're not able to get anywhere near where the actual wreckage is at that point, this point, and that's partially to do with how wooded that area is, which also obviously contributed to how difficult it was was for crews to find that aircraft, but it's also been raining really hard for the past hour and a half or so, so right around the time crews really started looking, and the road conditions over here aren't that great. The ground's really muddy. Again, we're in a wooded area north of I-10 near Styx River over here in Baldwin County. What we do know is that that plane did leave from Jack Edwards Airport in Gulf Shores again. Sadly, confirming that there have been two fatalities. Again, still limited information. We're working to gather that for you. Like we said, we do have a team of us out here working to get that information for you. And of course, we'll continue to update you guys. We're going to stay on Facebook Live for a little bit longer, kind of just going over what we do know now. And we'll bring you full updates later tonight online and, of course, tomorrow on News 5 this morning. Reporting live in Baldwin County, Brianna Hollis, WKRG News 5.